All right, kids, let's turn this into something a little bit more ethereal, like a double exposure in just a couple easy steps in Photoshop. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna say image duplicate. So I'm just gonna make a copy of this photo. I'm going to hit Command or Control A to select all, Command or Control C to copy, and I'm gonna come over to the other image and I'm gonna say Command or Control V to paste it on top. And what that did is it put it in a little layer right here. And then I'm gonna hit Command or Control T for free transform. And I'm gonna hold down the shift key, depending on how you have this set, you may or may not have to hold the shift in order to make it proportional. But I'm just going to expand this out a little bit and then I'm gonna line it back up, make sure it's centered. I'm gonna click OK on that and I'm going to apply a blur to this layer. So I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you can make this as dramatic or as subtle as you want. I'm gonna make it about 30 or 40 pixels, but that just is completely dependent on the size of my image. So don't just think that 40 is the magic number, it's not. And I'm gonna click OK and I'm going to lower the opacity. I tend to like it around 50%, but what you can see here is that it has created, let me turn that layer off and then back on, and it has created a soft glow around the edges and extended that edge out a little bit. Let's see it off and on. Excellent. What you can also do is drag that opacity back up to 100 and you can change the blending mode. So you can see, especially with the color burn blending mode, you can see that line very, very distinctly. The lighten blending mode has a little bit more of a subdued transition here. So that's something to consider. Overlay gives it a really nice, pretty glow. And then I can drag the opacity down a little bit. And turn that layer off and on. There you go, you got yourself an almost instantaneous ethereal glow by using a second image pasted on top of your first image and then using that blur tool, really, really helps. And don't forget, you always have the ability to add a mask in Photoshop and you can brush that out of little areas if you find that it's creating too soft of a look in certain areas and you just wanna have that look concentrated maybe on the edges of the flower or, or something like that, then you can go ahead and mask that out. So there we have a before and after of giving that an ethereal glow. Let's go ahead and change that blending mode. Let's do a little bit of overlay. That overlay blending mode is something that I would probably want to mask out a little bit of that excessive brightness that it created on that petal. But each image is going to be completely different. Just have fun with it and experiment with radial symmetry imager images and, and other flowers and things like that. It works for all sorts of subjects. Create as many duplicate images as you like. You can do this over and over and over again for different looks. Have fun!